So let's kick off with Liverpool. Um, a late Salah penalty clawing United back to a 2-2 draw. Is it a good point or is it a bad point? I think the way the game panned out, no, it's two points lost. Um, you, under normal circumstances, a point at, at United, I go back to when I played and we were the dominant team, we got anyth anything there, it was, it was deemed a, a good point. But I think um, the way the game was played yesterday, the chances that Liverpool had, they created chance after chance. They've got to be putting the game to bed in the first half. Should have been over at half time. Yeah. And they've let Man United back into the game and credit to Man United who, who kept going like they did in the cup game. And, and and got something out of the game that never said die attitude which you'd expect to exist uh, when they play Liverpool Oof. but you know Man United this year have been a major disappointment I think to the supporters I, I remember think, the same game at Anfield Graham and uh, nil, nil. you said it nil, nil, and you said it was fine margins um, but that, remind me has anyone got the stats on that did Liverpool have something like 40 shots that day I mean it's the same story that I think keep, it was 33 shots same yeah, they, kind of story this time as well they keep getting there and, and you know, I've gone on record as saying this is a this is a team that will win the league because they don't have to play well to win football matches. Well, the reverse is happening now. Yeah. You know, they're, they're playing well, but they're not winning games that they should be winning. Is there and like it a will, killer instinct? You can't say that. You know, what, they must still be near enough the top scorers, if not the number one, second. I, th I just think it's football and you can never legislate for it, but I don't think Liverpool will be disappointed with the, the way they played yesterday and the, the chances they created. What they will be disappointed with is not taking at least two or three of those chances because they weren't half chances some of them they were very good chances I mean Simon it beggars belief 62 attempts on goal mm. and two goals to show for it mm. I mean I mean from the two games I mean it, it really is quite remarkable to me that does have, I bow to games superior pop, pop, pop knowledge about it. but it, it does suggest a lack of killer instinct yeah surely. I mean you would think that if you've had 62 attempts on goal that you'd like to think that you'd maybe get one in 10 wouldn't you um, you know, so you're getting six out of those opportunities. But I, I actually don't think Liverpool have been playing that well recently. I think they've been eking results out. Put aside the uh, the, the the Europa League where they smashed um, uh, Sparta. You look at the results in recent terms. I don't think they were great against Sheffield United midweek. I don't think they were great against Brighton. And I think they've been getting results. And this league, they, I think the fixtures that are flying out that are coming so thick and fast I think are having an effect on teams' performances because it's a ridiculous performance that United put in in the last 10 minutes against Chelsea and then come back and bounce back and put in something vaguely resembling a credible performance against Liverpool because of the nature, nature of the fixture. I, look, I, I think Arsenal are now really in the box seat. Mm. I do. Mm. I think they've, they're in the groove and I think they could go on with the exception of the Spurs game potentially because I think that might be the banana skin and win all their games. Well... Yeah, simply win all the games to win the league. Liverpool were that yeah. until Sunday, and it could change again, as you said. Um, yeah, seven Spurs, games to go. I, I can remember when I was an apprentice at Spurs, being at White Hart Lane, and Arsenal were going. There it was a the year they did the double, and I think you know there was whatever in the stadium, whatever was fifty thousand in the stadium. They reckon it was about one hundred and fifty thousand outside in Tottenham High Road. It was an unbelievable night. Yeah, um, and I think Arsenal did the business that night. Well, Arsenal lead the way on 71 points. Uh, superior goal difference to Liverpool. And then Manchester City, of course, in third. And Klopp said afterwards, yeah, um, it's going to go right down to the wire. Game on. <laughs> we are in the middle of it, so that's how it is. So I know. We had that years ago. We said, if, if it's too nervous for you, go and travel somewhere where you have no television, no radio, no internet, nothing, and then come back in, in six, seven weeks. And... Uh, but being in it is actually the best position ever. So, and I, again, it's it, it. It's not only for us that it's that it's difficult. It is for the others difficult as well. So, and they have to play important games. We have to play important games. And United against Liverpool is a special game. So, like for them especially, which makes it more tricky for us in a week, one and a half weeks or whatever, we play against Everton. They don't play against each team like they play against us. So that's ours. But for that Arsenal, Tottenham is somehow whatever and and these kind of things so that's all clear i would have loved to win today but i take the point let me keep going i mean graham it is game on seven games to go how many of those seven will the eventual league winner win i don't know you can't you know i haven't got a crystal ball but um what you can be guaranteed you know like he's, jürgen alluded to it there and liverpool don't play any easy games you know, when the fixtures come out, or whenever it is in June time, the, you know, the other teams look at when they play Man United, when they play Liverpool. 
um, now Man City. Arsenal have crept into that group again. You know, so they don't. It's a cup final every week for them. But that is the price in the ticket if you pay for if you play for one of the big football clubs. You got to deal with it. And I'll, I'll listen to Jurgen and, and his interview after the game, and and what he said is 100 percent correct. And I'm glad he said it. It's basically along the lines: if you if you win the league, you deserve to win it. You know, when I was a player at Liverpool, th- that was the thing to win. It wasn't about a glamorous night and one of the big cities in Europe at the end of May playing in the European Cup final. That wasn't that wasn't the priority for them. It was it was winning the league. They felt that said more about you as an individual and what and how you've dealt with your personal issues throughout yeah, the yeah. hard nine months and collectively as a team that was a priority I'm looking at the messages coming in Liverpool fans not happy though uh, there is Judge a Liverpool fan we know you Judge we have an absolute mental block at Old Trafford it's frustrating once again look like a team who thought we've just got to turn up and beat them and it never works out like that at Manchester United did they not United. smash United a couple of years ago five at Old Trafford well, I mean, maybe maybe they did go, ah, but like yesterday it's football. You, football is, is, and that's why we love it, and that's why it's so fascinating at times. You know, you can dominate the ball, dominate the chances, and still get beat, as Liverpool did a couple of weeks ago in the FA Cup. I mean, as an ex-Liverpool captain who won the European I'm, Cup I'm, three times, do they give you confidence that they're about to win this again? I've I've tipped them all along. I, th- I think yesterday is an almighty blow, but they've got to get back on the horse immediately, and they've got to, it's now no longer in their hands. You prior to, to yesterday, you, you know, you're thinking they're going to do this because I, I really fancied them yesterday and fancied them to win well yesterday. It, it it didn't happen, but who's to say that? You know, Man City have a. Tell me if I'm right here. Man City, I'm looking at the fixtures that were put up on the screen after the game yesterday. Man City have got to squeeze a game in somewhere, haven't they? It's, there's no it's, it's yet to be announced. They've one all of got the games. Same. They've all got. They've all got the same games, yeah. but they've got a game for some reason. Thing, after the in. interesting thing which might play is see how they how these European fixtures play out for them because There's obviously obviously Arsenal have got Bayern right and and City have got Madrid, Liverpool have got Atalanta in a lesser competition, but notwithstanding that you'd expect them to come past it. Whereas whereas the Arsenal game is a pick'em game, and well, so what, what's, what's the what's your well, my, my my feeling is that depending, I think it could affect the, the the direction of travel. If Arsenal get knocked out against Bayern, it might cement their resolve. It might it might take away their resolve. The same for City. If City were to get done mm. by Madrid in the Champions League, it you know obviously City are, are, are nailed on, done this before, walked this walk before. Know what it feels like. Arsenal slightly different. So I think these factors come into play. Big, big but City have, got, respond, City, City have got the best fixtures. Big I mean, players respond. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't see that being a factor. Sure they do. I, I, sure I, they do. I, I think big players. You know, the park that, yeah, but the you're, disappointment. You're, Graham, big players in your day and age are different to big players in this day and age. I understand what your point is, which the cream of the crop always rises, but there is also a, not quite the same fortitude and resilience in players as there once was when you played. Mm. I think mm. there was a going back to prior to my time at Liverpool as a player, they'd, they'd lost a Man U in a cup final. And the following, that, that was a Saturday on the Wednesday, they went to Roma and won the for the first time, yeah. There's uh, Ron and Plimpton. I'm not sure, Ron, if you're in here, you say this to his face. You can tell that Sunis is on this morning. Liverpool this, Liverpool that. If it was any other team, he'd be slaughtering them. That they didn't win that game team? yesterday. Ron. Team? Ron, I was asked a question. <laughs> I didn't bring up Liverpool, Jim did. <laughs> Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.